Can you solve this problem? If you had this for a quiz and we're looking at it, would you know what to do? What we're looking at here is something called a complex fraction. The line you see is a fraction bar, and anything above it is the numerator, and below it is your denominator. A complex fraction is a fraction that includes a fraction as a numerator, in this case the 5 twelfths, or a denominator like 3 fourths, or in this case both numerator and denominator. Remember that a fraction is a division statement where you divide the numerator by the denominator. So what we're doing today is dividing a complex fraction. And our first step is to rewrite the problem from left to right, dividing the numerator by the denominator. After that, the main idea is that we want to turn this division problem into a multiplication problem, then take the second fraction and flip it into its reciprocal. We then multiply the first fraction. If you're rusty on that skill right now, there's a lesson that I will put the link below, how to divide by a fraction. We then simplify. In this case, the 12 and 4 are both divisible by 4. So we can simplify both of those fractions. We simplify and then simply multiply straight across. 5 times 1 on top, 3 times 3 is 9. We'll be using a KCF strategy today for this type of problem. K stands for keep, C stands for change, and the F stands for flip. We keep the first fraction the same. We change division into multiplication, and we flip the second fraction over into its reciprocal. We can do the change and flip parts because of related multiplication and division facts make it easier to do this type of problem. So KCF stands for keep, change, and flip. Okay, let's look at a second problem dividing a complex fraction. Our first step is to divide, excuse me, is to rewrite the problem from left to right, dividing our numerator by our denominator. We then apply our KCF strategy. We keep the first fraction the same, we change division into multiplication, and we flip the second fraction over into its reciprocal. Next, we simplify. If possible, in this case, we can simplify 6 and 2 because they are divisible by 2. When you divide both of those by 2, we will be able to rewrite our fractions, and now we're ready to multiply. Straight across, numerators, 3 times 3 is 9, and denominators, 8 times 1 is 8. That gives us 9 over 8 which is an improper fraction. For problems like this, we will need to rewrite them as a mixed number, so there's one more step. We divide the numerator by the denominator. When you do that, you'll get one with a remainder of one, which we rewrite as a fraction because we're dealing with a mixed number answer right now, okay? All right, let's look at problem two, dividing a complex fraction. Notice this time that we have 12 as our denominator. That is not a fraction, that's a whole number, but because two-fifths as the numerator is a fraction, this is still a complex fraction. Our first step is we rewrite the problem from left to right, then we keep the first fraction the same, we change division into multiplication, and we will flip the second fraction into its reciprocal. Since 12 is a whole number, we can rewrite that as a fraction, just writing it over 1, flip it into its reciprocal, simplify. In this case, both are divisible by 2. We can uh, rewrite both of those fractions into their new fraction form, multiply straight across, and we get the answer of 1 over 30. We do not have to uh, rewrite that as a mixed number this time. So uh, our answer is 130 in dividing a complex fraction. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.